チャンスを待っていたこの俺の手で魔王を倒すこの時をだ When Kero acquired his powers as a hero who specialized in healing all injuries regardless of severity, it seemed that he would walk the path to a great future. But what awaited him instead was great agony. He was subjected to years of seemingly endless hellish torture and abuse. Kero's healing skills allowed him to secretly collect the memories and abilities of those he treated, gradually making him stronger than anyone else. But by the time he reached his full potential, it was far too late. He had already lost everything. Determined to put his life back on track, Kero decided to unleash a powerful healing spell that rewound the entire world back to the time before he began to suffer his horrible fate. Equipped with the anguish of his past, he vows to redo everything in order to fulfill a new purpose to exact revenge upon those who have wronged him. <laughs> The ordinary life of a 17 year old otaku Hajime Nagumo is disrupted when he and his classmates are summoned to a fantasy world and tasked with saving mankind. While his classmates are gifted with impressive abilities useful in combat, Hajime is belittled for only gaining an inferior transmutation skill that lacks any real offensive power. During an expedition in the Great Orca's Labyrinth, Hajime is betrayed by one of his classmates, plummeting him to the bottom of an abyss. Though he survives the fall, Hajime is faced with menacing monsters and misfortunes that send him spiraling into a grim nightmare. Desperate to live and return home one day, he resolves to fight for his survival, only to meet an imprisoned vampire he names Yue, who is also seeking to escape the labyrinth. Taking an interest in him, Yue and a few others along the way accompany Hajime on his journey to find a way back home while steadily transforming from commonplace to the world's strongest. Japan 2039. Ten years after the outbreak of the apocalypse virus, an event solemnly regarded as Lost Christmas, the once proud nation has fallen under the rule of the GHQ, an independent military force dedicated to restoring order. Funeral Parlor, a guerrilla group led by the infamous guy Tsutsugami, acts as a freedom fighter, s offering the only resistance to GAQ's cruel despotism. Idori Yuzuriha, a key member of Funeral Parlor, runs into the weak and unsociable Shu Oma during a crucial operation, which results in him obtaining the power of kings, an ability which allows the wielder to draw out the manifestations of an individual's personality. Or voids. Now, an unwilling participant in the struggle against GHQ, Shu must learn to control his newfound power if he is to help take back Japan once and for all. Guilty Crown follows the action packed story of a young high school student who is dragged into war, possessing an ability that will help him uncover the secrets of the GHQ, Funeral Parlor, and Last Christmas. However, he will soon learn that the truth comes at a far greater price than he could have ever imagined. Centuries ago, mankind was slaughtered to near extinction by monstrous humanoid creatures called titans, forcing humans to hide in fear behind enormous concentric walls. What makes these giants truly terrifying is that their taste for human flesh is not born out of hunger, but what appears to be out of pleasure. To ensure their survival, the remnants of humanity began living within defensive barriers, resulting in 100 years without a single titan encounter. However, that fragile calm is soon shattered when a colossal titan manages to breach the supposedly impregnable outer wall, reigniting the fight for survival against the man eating abominations. After witnessing a horrific personal loss at the hands of the invading creatures, Eren Yeager dedicates his life to their eradication by enlisting in the Servi Corps, an elite military unit that combines the merciless humanoids outside the protection of the walls. Based on Hajime Isayama's award winning manga, Shingeki no Kyojin follows Eren, along with his adopted sister Mikasa Ackerman and his childhood friend Armin a l l e r d as they join the brutal war against the Titans and race to discover a way of defeating them before the walls are breached.
Night Raid is a covert assassination branch of the Revolutionary Army, an uprising assembled to overthrow Prime Minister Honest, whose avarice and greed for power has led him to take advantage of the Child Emperor's inexperience. Without a strong and benevolent leader, the rest of the nation is left to drown in poverty, strife and ruin. Though the Night Raid members are all experienced killers, they understand that taking lives is far from commendable and that they will likely face retribution as they mercilessly eliminate anyone who stands in the revolution's way. This merry band of assassins' newest member is Tatsumi, a naive boy from a remote village who had embarked on a journey to help his impoverished hometown and was won over by not only Night Raid's ideals, but also their resolve. Akamega Kill follows Tatsumi as he fights the Empire and comes face to face with powerful weapons, enemy assassins, challenges to his own morals and values, and ultimately, what it truly means to be an assassin with a cause. Princess Yona lives a life of luxury and ease, completely sheltered from the problems of the seemingly peaceful kingdom of Koka. However, the sudden murder of the king and betrayal of her beloved cousin Suwon places Yona's life in mortal peril. Forced to escape only with Son Huck, who is both her childhood friend and bodyguard, the naive princess soon discovers that Koka is not the idyllic place she envisioned it to be. Poverty, strife and corruption run rampant, making reclaiming the throne nothing more than a wishful fantasy given the kingdom's current state. Based on a popular manga of the same name by Mizuho Kusanagi, Yona of the Dawn follows Princess Yona on a coming-of-age adventure as she faces the harsh realities of her kingdom. With only a mysterious legend to guide her, Yona must discover a way to restore Koka to its former glory while being pursued relentlessly by the forces of the new King of Koka. As a child living in the town of Lawless, Angelo Lagusa has witnessed a tragedy. His parents and younger brother have been mercilessly slaughtered by the Vanity Mafia family. Losing everything he holds dear, he leaves both his name and hometown behind, adopting the new identity of Avilio Bruno. Seven years later, Avilio finally has his chance for revenge when he receives a mysterious letter prompting him to return to Lawless. Obliging, he soon encounters the Vanity Don's son Nero and seeks to befriend him using the skills he has quietly honed for years. Set during the Prohibition era, 91 Days tells the story of Avilio's dark, bloodstained path to vengeance as he slowly ends each of the men involved in the killing of his family. The greedy samurai Lord Daigo Kagamitsu's land is dying and he would do anything for power, even renounce Buddha and make a pact with demons. His prayers are answered by 12 demons who grant him the power he desires by aiding his prefecture's growth, but at a price. When Kagamitsu's first son is born, the boy has no limbs, no nose, no eyes, no ears, not even skin, yet still he lives. This child is disposed of in the river and forgotten. But as luck would have it, he is saved by a medicine man who provides him with prosthetics and weapons, allowing him to survive and fend for himself. The boy lives and grows, and although he cannot see, hear or feel anything, he must defeat the demons that took him as sacrifice. With the death of each one, he regains a part of himself that is rightfully his. For many years he wanders alone until one day an orphan boy, Dororo, befriends him. The unlikely pair of castaways now fight for their survival and humanity in an unforgiving demon-infested world. <laughs> The four cardinal heroes are a group of ordinary men from modern-day Japan summoned to the kingdom of Melromark to become its saviors. 
Melromark is a country plagued by the waves of catastrophe that have repeatedly ravaged the land and brought disaster to its citizens for centuries. The four heroes are respectively bestowed a sword, spear, bow and shield to vanquish these waves. Naofumi Iwatani, an otaku, becomes cursed with the fate of being the shield hero. Armed with only a measly shield, Naofumi is belittled and ridiculed by his fellow heroes and the kingdom's people due to his weak offensive capabilities and lackluster personality. When the heroes are provided with resources and comrades to train with, Naofumi sets out with only one person willing to train alongside him, Multi Melomar. He is soon betrayed by her, however, and becomes falsely accused of taking advantage of her. Naofumi then becomes heavily discriminated against and hated by the people of Melromark for something he didn't do. With a raging storm of hurt and mistrust in his heart, Naofumi begins his journey of strengthening himself and his reputation. Further along, however, the difficulty of being on his own sets in, so Naofumi buys a demi-human slave on the verge of death named Raftalia to accompany him on his travels. As the waves approach the kingdom, Naofumi and Raftalia must fight for the survival of the kingdom and protect the people of Melromark from their ill-fated future. Young Thorfinn grew up listening to the stories of old sailors that had traveled the ocean and reached a place of legend, Vinland. It's said to be warm and fertile, a place where there would be no need for fighting, not at all like the frozen village in Iceland where he was born and certainly not like his current life as a mercenary. War is his home now. Though his father once told him, you have no enemies, nobody does, Thorfinn knew that nothing was further from the truth. The war between England and the Danes grows worse with each passing year. Death has become commonplace and the Viking mercenaries are loving every moment of it. Allying with either side will cause a massive swing in the balance of power and the Vikings are happy to make names for themselves and take any spoils they earn along the way. Among the chaos, Thorfinn must take his revenge and kill Askeladd, the man who murdered his father. The only paradise for the Vikings, it seems, is the era of war and death that rages on. Thank you for watching my video about a top 10 betrayal and revenge anime you need to watch. Make sure to smash like, subscribe and hit the bell for more anime videos and I'll see you guys in the next one.